division and will celebrate on schedule. Leave it to the Dodgers. Charlie Culver's in a game-winning home run. What a moment to have it. And would you believe his first home run of the year? Yasiel yeah, Puig pinch hitting. And he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door down to the 500 club. A high drive into the lower deck and right. Number 30 touches them all. And boy, what a Father's Day gift for Senior. Getting his 500th home run to right field. What a scene this is here at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The 20th member of the 500th home run club. From Flushing, Queens, baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, the second of four between the Cincinnati Reds and the New York Mets. It's Mets baseball next on the show. Jacob DeGrom, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Flezak, what do you got? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Stepping in, Jose Peraza. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This is in the air for Cespedes is in left. And he's got it for the first out. A moment here to in take a look at the Cincinnati spot. Reds starting in lineup in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? You always have to look out for a guy like Joey Votto. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. In now, Billy Hamilton. The season batting average comes in down in the 240s. Hold high in the air out to right field. Nimmo in pursuit. And that's the second out of the inning. Batting third. Settling in now, Joey Votto. First Joey. chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard down the line. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Homer Bailey is on the mound for the Reds in this one. HR, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, last game he pitched six full innings. He looked like he had good stuff. He didn't get a decision, but he gave his team a chance to be in the ball game. I look for a similar performance in this game. Digging in, Jose Reyes. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Duvall ranging back. Gone into the upper tank. A solo home run for Jose Reyes. Sixth home run on the season for him, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. A 
hey, there are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat. You. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Stepping in now, TJ Rivera. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Throws him with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Lays off two and two now. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Matt, Jansen's going to remind you of those brave games we used to watch with Maddox and Glavin and Smoltz from pitching because he's got a wide zone. He's going to take us back to the 90s, calling balls off the plate. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And Harold, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they've been fairly punchless of late, losing last time out and, in fact, dropping six of their last seven. Matt, here we are at the bottom of the first inning. The team has been struggling coming in, and now they find themselves already down one nothing. I think this is more of a mental thing than maybe even physical. they got to turn it around. One out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Another 2-2 offering. Comes with a slider there as it's lifted down the line and left. Shebler moves over. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. And now pitch on the way. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Ball three here as that pitch runs way up and in and backs him out of the box here. Well, a pitcher can tell you a lot early in the game. With this veteran pitcher out here, fastball in. To me, it looks like he's going to try to take that inside half and say, that is mine. That gets down, and the inning continues. So on a full count pitch he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. Looked like he was sitting on the hard stuff right there. Stayed right on it. Stayed with it. Hard line drive. Great game plan. Into the box now. David Wright. And he's seen his numbers on the rise here over the last five games or so. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Shebler is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Second inning coming up, and the Mets have an early 1 0 lead. So striding in, Adam Duvall. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And at third base, the captain, Captain America, David Wright. I love the fact that he still has great footwork. The first step may be as good as anybody in the history of the game. He can still catch it, but I love that first step.
Here's the shortstop Zach Kozart. He was hitless in the shutout last night. Strike two called and it's even at two. We're in the second one nothing Mets early on. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there and he makes the catch for the second out. Batting six. And that brings up Scott Shevler, currently with the third best home run total on the ball club. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. A fastball down near the shoe tops. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Over for a look here is Cespedes, but he won't have a play. It's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Swing and a line drive. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. And the 11th pitch is the charm as he strikes him out to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Reds. It remains one nothing. And here's the former first round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. He'll match up with Homer Bailey now to lead off the inning. One and one, here it comes. That's and this is low, ball two. Two and one. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's in time. Batting seventh, catcher. Into the box now, Rene Rivera. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Bases are empty, one man out. That one's in there, three and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3 0 and turned to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Digging in, Juan Ligares. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Runners on first with one down. Runners on the move for second. Soft liner to the right side. And he'll take this over to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner moves into scoring position at second. Now at the plate, Jacob DeGrom. And a chance now to increase his lead if he can deliver something here with two gone. Just the second inning, but already 37 pitches to this point. This is line to left, and he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Now to the plate, Hernan Iribarren. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting eight. Catcher. Sean. Zaraga. Digging in the switch hitter, Sean Zaraga. And he is proving to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. 
And this is fouled back and out of play. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Drilled down the line. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. Well, third baseman did everything he could on that ball. That ball was just scorched right past him. He laid out, got dirty. I thought for a second he was going to have it. Just couldn't come up with it. Into the box now, Homer Bailey. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Mets are out on top, one to nothing. Digging in to try it again, Jose Reyes. And he's off to a hot start in this one. Homered his first time around. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Hit hard on the ground to third. And a sliding effort there, but that ball had eyes, and the leadoff man's on base to start the inning. Already two hits in the ball game as he's on base here in the home third. As we check out the top Mets in that department, you can currently see he's third best on the ball club. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Nobody out, runner on first. Bailey with a look at first, and he's back standing. The 2 and 1 on its way. 2 and 2. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Two and two count. Here it comes. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Three two count with a guy on first base that can run like he can. I think they got to send him right here. I think he's off and running. He's set. Here's the three and two. Sure enough, there goes Reyes. Now a swing and a fly ball. And foul. Payoff pitch one more time. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. A dribble Cabrera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now a pickoff play at second, and he's back in standing. Now a bunt attempt here. And the throw goes to first, so the sacrifice works that time. Digging in for his second at bat, Joanna Cespedes. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. One and one, here it comes. Hit back up the middle. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. A tag, and they get him at the plate as one run scores, but not the second. Baseman number five, David. Ready for another chance? David Wright trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. Come on, guys, let's go. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Hit hard on the ground to second. Reined in. Throw on Devoto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. And here's Jose Peraza. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. 
Yeah. A high fastball is in there. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this. Again, a one two. Here's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Now a flare out to left center. Cabrera ranging into the outfield, and that's the first out of the inning. The batter number Here's Billy six. Hamilton standing in. He's Billy 0 for 1 Hamilton. thus far. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes, and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Into the box, Joey Votto. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Cespedes is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Reds are down in order. They trail it here, two to nothing. And here's the former first-round draft choice, Brandon Nimmo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And the pitch on two and one. Rip toward the gap in right. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. You could tell he was thinking fastball now all the way is. here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat head out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. In now, Rene Rivera. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. He's set. Here's the two two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hamilton is under it. He gets there to put it away, but the runner tags and breaks for third. And he'll get into third here on the fly out, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Juan Ligares. Riding in once again, Juan Ligares. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Here's the 2 1. Now a line drive that's going to be caught out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. Stepping into the box, Jacob DeGrom hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Bailey pauses coming home with the 1 1 pitch and he takes ball two and it's two and one good time to be a nine hole hitter right now more than likely going to get a good pitch to hit the top of the order is looming on deck good spot to be a good hitter right now that's on the outside corner count two and two you know I think this is a big situation this game they've got to lead by a couple of runs but they don't want to look back on this inning when this one's over and think that they left some runs out there on the base path. Scoring more here would be huge. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Mets strand one, but they're on top two to nothing. Now at the plate, Adam Duvall comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. The batter, Here's the shortstop, two, Zach Cozart. He's Cozart. 0 for 1 thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. It is. 
And this is fouled straight back. Ground ball right side. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, the good ones have that back control. You see right there, he had a hole on the right side. First baseman was holding. Second baseman playing double play depth. And he shot it right through there on the right side for the hit. Nice job. And that brings up Scott Shebler. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Cespedes moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. Now batting. Stepping up to the plate, Hernan Iribarri. Oh for one for him here in this one. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Grounded to first. Rivera scoops it up, and the throw will go to second as they get to force out. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Standing in now, Sean Zaraga. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Two outs, two strikes, and we're in the fifth inning, and he's got one pitch, I think, away from getting to a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Red strand a couple. They trail things here two to nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Reyes. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. Here comes the payoff pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Moving under it, Shebler, one down. Now and that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Lifted in the air out to right. Duvall has a read on it, two down. The shortstop, number 13. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. Dribble. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. 2 Whoa, and 1. Right Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Bailey's ready. They'll try to put him away here on two and two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's. Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Fair to say? Oh, my goodness. Uh, these folks are not headed for a career on Broadway. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Stepping in, Homer Bailey. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. And he takes a cold strike, too. Well, this offense finds themselves struggling right now, and they're down a few runs. They got to try to manufacture, get somebody on, maybe hit and run, and then you look for the big ball. Looks like right now, everybody's swinging for the downs. They got to turn it around a little bit, play a little small ball, and get it going. So he gets him swinging on a pitcher's pitch. Homer Bailey becomes the first out of the inning. Stepping in now, Jose Peraza. Slider just off the black there, and it's to two and one now. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw in time at first for out number two. The batter number six, center fielder. Here's Billy, Billy Hamilton standing in. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far.
Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Oh, that looked like a pretty good pitch to hit. It's a little bit late, so he might have been just fooled just a tad bit, just enough not to square it up. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. One, two, three, go the Reds. They're down two to nothing. Here's you in Cespedes. Two base hits, both singles to this point. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every nope. game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Well, no surprise, another single to lead off the inning here late in the game. But they haven't had a lot of runs. They've got a lot of hits today, but they haven't been able to put things together. I guess I give a little credit to the pitching staff not allowing consecutive hits to hurt them. Here comes Brian Price now out of the Reds dugout on his way to the mound. And it appears as though that's going to be all for Homer Bailey. He'll wind up lasting just five please. innings here. Now Didn't pitch all Reds. that poorly yet Number he's gone 46. nonetheless. Tim Adelman yeah. takes Adelman. over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. David Wright will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. A runner at first with no outs here. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now three and two. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. Uh, this will be foul off to the right out of play. Runner going a second time. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hamilton is under it. One away. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in and looking for more. Brandon Nimmo, one for Nimmo. two with a double on the ledger so far. Ready to deal, here's the 1-1. One -one. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. Runner at first here, one man out. Called strike two. I don't know about his decision not to swing there. Hitters count. You get a fastball middle in. That's the one you drive out of the ballpark. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Those aren't for one. But one's all they were ever going to get and the inning will continue. That's a really tough double play to turn now when the first baseman Catherine. has to feel it coming Running. off the bag and Rivera. then make a throw to second while the runner is going down the line. Couldn't complete the double play, but at least they got one out. Into the box now. Rene Rivera swung on and lifted in the air to left center. After it is Hamilton. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Mets leave one. They're up two to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. In is Joey Votto now. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. The throw into second. And he's safe. He's safe. You batter. don't think fielding right is important? Fielder. Instead Adam of a routine out, Ball. you got a guy standing at second base after a two base error. We'll see if the pitcher can pick him up.
Into the box, Adam Duvall. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. A runner at second, nobody out. And this is going to be a foul ball. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there. And now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch. And it's really working out for him. Taken there by Cabrera. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Well, that's a nice infield single. And was he flying down the line or what? But, man, he used to say, hey, he's smelling that base hit right there. He was digging for that hit. Riding in once again, Zach Kozart. He's one for two in the ball game. Action in the Mets bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. Cold strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Throw over to third here, and he is safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. Man, it was already a dicey situation with two on and no out, and then things get worse with the wild pitch there. So instead of a chance to turn two, they've got runners on second and third, and a base hit will drive in a pair. And here's a ball hit in the air. And Reyes will take this one for the first out. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. Runners are at second and third with one down. And that's finally over for a strike. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Third baseman. Hernan Digging in once again. Hernan Iribarin. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Ligares. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Red strand a couple. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Here's Juan Ligares. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Hit the other way out toward right field. Duvall is over, one away. Ready for another chance? Jacob DeGrom. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. There's a change up over the outside corner. Ready with the two and two. Sent on the ground out to second. In time to first, and there are two away. Seven, Ready one. once again, Jose Reyes. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Duvall racing back. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Reyes at full speed. Look at him fly. He's headed for third. And they're not going to get Reyes. He's in safely at third with a triple. For the Mets, third baseman, T.J. Rivera.
Standing in now, T.J. Rivera. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Swing and a line drive into left field, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Well, that's a big base hit right there. Now you got a three-run lead. You always play to beat that bloop and that blast that can hurt you late in the game. And now they've got that cushion. In now as Dribble Cabrera. Now an off-speed pitch well inside, and it forces him to bounce away from danger. Two out with the man at first. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Hey, that's a good job right there. Very rarely see pitchers double up where they go a pitch inside. Normally, they'll go back outside, but he followed that up with another pitch on the inside part of the plate. Pro on Devado will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. Eighth inning coming up. The Mets lead this one three to nothing. A.J. Ramos has been summoned now from the bullpen the as he'll do so to start Number the eight. A.J. Ramos. Ready for another shot now. Sean Zaraga. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. Fouled back. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Payoff pitch on its way. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. A couple of good pitching performances by both clubs here. Three nothing our score as you get a look there at the inning by inning recap through the first seven and change. Harris Mendy Alcantara. And we'll get the call Cincinnati. here as he'll hit for the Number pitcher. 30, Harris Mendy Alcantara. This is in the air for Cespedes is in left. And there's the second out of the inning. And here's Jose Peraza. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Here it is on three and one. Swing and a liner. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. Still down three nothing. Joe Blanton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 55, Joe Blanton. Digging in to try it again. Joanna Cespedes. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Pitch popped up into a slide, and he makes a great catch for the first down. Baseman, number five. And now a right hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. Set to deliver on two and one. Takes a knee high fastball. Here's the pitch on two and two. Fouled back. One out, nobody on. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Brandon Nimmo. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. One and one, here it comes. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. One and two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. 
All even at two and two. Here it is. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Duvall moves over. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it three to nothing. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Jerry Spamilia comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. So coming to the plate, Joey Votto. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Little chopper back to the mound. On to first, and now the Reds are down to their final out here. Now to the plate, Adam Duvall. Lifetime against Familia. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. And now this crowd, right around 34,000 fans, comes to their feet. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And that is through into right field for a single. And if you're the manager, you've got to love that about your team. They were down to their last strike, but they refused to go down without a fight, so they lived to fight some more. Into the box now, Zach Kozart. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And gone up into the second deck. So a two-run homer down the line in left. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the Reds have cut this to a 3-2 to two game now. That, my friends, is a cardinal sin for any closer. You can't give up the long ball. Good thing for him, he still has the lead. We'll see now if he can rebound and actually keep it. Into the box, Scott Shebler. Sinker, three and two now. No, you don't want to get caught looking for the final out. That's a tough pitch to lay off. Impressive that he did. And there's his first base hit in this one. So he wins the full count battle and finds a way to extend the inning. It's getting exciting right now. That single right him? there. Now we got Third the tying run on base and the go ahead Harry run Barrow. coming to the plate. Mercy. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Stepping in now, Hernan Iribarin. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Yeah, and they just keep on keeping on. Got a nice little run going here, winning four in a row and playing with a lot of confidence. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Jacob DeGrom records the victory, his 13th of the year. Jerry Spamilia earns the save out of the bullpen, his 37th of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Three runs on eight hits, one error. They left.
six men on base. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. to four. Three and two. High fly ball.